Manu, Sanskrit, Manu is a term found with various meanings in Hinduism. In early texts, it refers to the archetypal man, or to the first man, progenitor of humanity, the Sanskrit term for human. Maneva iast, maneva, means of Manu, or children of Manu. In later texts, Manu is the title or name of 14 mystical Kshatriya rulers of earth, or alternatively as the head of mythical dynasties that begin with each cyclic Kalpa eon, when the universe is born anew. The title of the text Manumriti uses this term as a prefix, but refers to the first Manu, Svayambhuva, the spiritual son of Brahma. In some Puranic mythology, each Kalpa consists of 14 Manvantaras, and each Manvantara is headed by a different Manu. The current universe, in this mythology, is asserted to be ruled by the seventh Manu named Vaivasvata. In Vishnu Purana, Vaivasvata, also known as Sradhadeva or Satyavrata, was the king of Dravida before the Great Flood. He was warned of the flood by the Matsya fish avatar of Vishnu, and built a boat that carried the Vedas, Manu's family and the seven sages to safety, helped by Matsya. The myth is repeated with variations in other texts, including the Mahabharata and a few other Puranas. It is similar to other flood myths such as that of Gilgamesh and Noah. Manus of the current Kalpa The 14 Manus of the current Aeon are First Manvantara, the interval of Swayambhu Manu in this Mandantara, the Saptarshis were Marichi, Atri, Angiris, Palaha, Kratu, Palastya, and Vashishtha. In Svayambhuva Mandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar was called Yajna. The first Manu was Svayambhuva Manu. He had three daughters, namely Akuti, Devahuti and Prasuti. Devahuti was given in marriage to sage Kartama and she gave birth to nine daughters, and a single son named Kapila. Prasuti gave birth to Yajna and Akuti gave birth to one son and one daughter. Both Kapila and Yajna, who were sons of Devahuti and Prasuti respectively, were incarnations of Vishnu. Svayambhuva Manu, along with his wife, Satarupa, went into the forest to practice austerities on the bank of the river Sunanda. At some point in time, Rikshasas attacked them, but Yajna, accompanied by his sons, the demigods, swiftly killed them. Then Yajna personally took the post of Indra, the king of the heavenly planets. Second Manvantara, the interval of Swarachisha Manu The Saptarshis were Urjastamba, Agni, Prana, Danti, Rishaba, Nischara, and Charvaravan. In Svarasisha Manvantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar was called Vibhu. The second Manu, whose name was Svarasisha, was the son of Agni, and his sons were headed by Dayumat, Sushina and Rochishmat. In the age of this Manu, Ruchana became Indra, the ruler of the heavenly planets, and there were many demigods, headed by Tushita. There were also many saintly persons, such as Urjastamba. Among them was Vedasira, whose wife Tushita gave birth to Vibhu. Vibhu was the incarnation of Vishnu for this Manvantara. He remained a Brahmachari all his life and never married. He instructed 88,000 Dhrita Vratas, or saintly persons, on sense control and austerity. Third Manvantara, the interval of Uttama Manu The Saptarshis for this Manvantara were Kaukundihi, Karundi, Dalaya, Sankha, Pravahita, Mita, and Samhita. In Uttama Manvantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar was called Satyasena. Uttama, the son of Priyavrata, was the third Manu. Among his sons were Pavana, Srinjaya and Yajnahatra. During the reign of this Manu, the sons of Ashista, headed by Pramada, became the seven saintly persons. The Satyas, Devasrutas and Bhadras became the demigods, and Satyajit became Indra. From the womb of Sunrita, the wife of Dharma, the supreme lord Narayana appeared as Satyasena, and killed all the evil Rikshasas who created havoc in all the worlds, along with Satyajit, who was Indra at that time. Fourth Manvantara, the interval of Tapasat, Tamasa Manu Saptarshi's list, Jayodardama, Prithu, Kavya, Kshetra, Agni, Vinaka, and Pavara. In Tapasa Mandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar was called Hari. 
Tapasith Tamasa, the brother of the third Manu, was the fourth Manu, and he had ten sons, including Prithu, Kiati, Nara and Kitu. During his reign, the Satyakas, Haris, Viras and others were demigods, the seven great saints were headed by Jayodardama, and Trisika became Indra. Haramita begot a son named Hari, who was the incarnation of Vishnu for this Mandantara, by his wife Harini. Hari was born to liberate the devotee Gajendra. Fifth Mandantara, the interval of Ravada Manu Saptarshi's list, Paranyaroma, Vedasri, Urdabahu, Vedabahu, Sudaman, Pariyanya, and Mahamuni. In Ravada Mandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar was called Vaikantha, not to be confused with Vishnu's divine realm, of the same name. Vaikantha came as Ravada Manu, the twin brother of Tamasa. His sons were headed by Arjuna, Bali and Vindhya. Among the demigods were the Batarayas, and among the seven Brahmanas who occupied the seven planets were Hiranyaroma, Vedasira and Urgvabahu. Sixth Mandantara, the interval of Chikshusha Manu Saptarshi's list, Sumitas, Varahas, Havishmat, Uttama, Madhu, Avanaman, and Sahishnu. In Chikshusha Mandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar was called Ahita. Ahita came as Chashsusa Manu, the son of the demigod Chakshu. He had many sons, headed by Puru, Purusa and Sudyumna. During the reign of Chikshuese Manu, the king of heaven was known as Mantradruma. Among the demigods were the Appiyas, and among the great sages were Havisman and Varaka. The current, seventh Mandantara, the interval of Vavasvata Manu. Saptarshi's list, Kashyapa, Atri, Vashista, Angira, Gautama, Agastya, Bharadvaha. During Vavasvata Mandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar is called Vamana. The seventh Manu, who is the son of Vivasvan, is known as Sratadeva, or Satyabrata, or Vavasvat, son of Vivasvan. He has ten sons, named Ikshvaku, Nabhaga, Dhrsta, Saryati, Narasyanta, Dista, Tarusa, Prisadra and Vasaman. In this Mandantara, or reign of Manu, among the demigods are the Adityas, Vasus, Rudras, Visvadevas, Murats, Asvini Kumaras and Rbhus. The king of heaven, Indra, is known as Purandera, and the seven sages are known as Kashyapa, Atri, Vashista, Angira, Gautama, Agastya and Bharadwaja. During this period of Manu, Lord Vishnu took birth from the womb of Aditi, the wife of Kashyapa. Eighth Mandantara, Savarni Manu Saptarshi's list, Diptimat, Galava, Parasarama, Kripa, Drani or Ashwathama, Vyasa, and Rishyasringa. In Savarniya Mandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar will be called Sarvabhama. In the period of the eighth Manu, the Manu is Surya Savarnaka Manu. His sons are headed by Nirmoka, and among the demigods are the Sutapas. Bali, the son of Virachana, is Indra, and Galava and Parasarama are among the seven sages. In the age of this Manu, Lord Vishnu's avatar will be called Sarvabhama, the son of Devaguya and Sarasvati. Ninth, Daksa Savarni Manu Saptarshi's list, Savanna, Dayatamat, Bhavya, Vasu, Meditithi, Jayodishman, and Satya. In Daksha Savarniya Mandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar will be called Rishaba. The ninth Manu is Daksha Savarni. His sons are headed by Buddhaketu, and among the demigods are the Marasagarvas. Adbuddha is Indra, and among the seven sages is Dayatiman. Rishaba would be born of Ayushman and Ambudara. Tenth, Brahma Savarni Manu. Saptarshi's list, Havishman, Sukriti, Satya, Apamurti, Nabhaga, Apratimauhas, and Satyaket. In Brahma Savarniya Mandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar will be called Vishvaksena. In the period of the tenth Manu, the Manu is Brahma Savarni. Among his sons is Bhurashina, and the seven sages are Havishman and others. Among the demigods are the Suvasanas, and Sambhu is Indra. Vishvaksena would be a friend of Sambhu and will be born from the womb of Vishuchi in the house of a Brahmana named Visvasrashta. 11th, Dharma Savarni Manu 
Saptarshi's List, Nischara, Agnitihas, Vapushman, Vishnu, Aruni, Havishman, and Anaga. In Dharma Savarnia Mandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar will be called Dharmasetu. In the period of the 11th Manu, the Manu is Dharma Savarni, who has ten sons, headed by Satyadharma. Among the demigods are the Vihangamas, Indra is known as Vairita, and the seven sages are Aruna and others. Dharmasetu will be born of Vairita and Aryaka. 12. Rudra Savarni Manu Saptarshi's List, Tapaswi, Sutapas, Tapamurti, Taparati, Tapadriti, Tapadiuti, and Tapadan. In Rudra Savarni Amandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar will be called Sudama. In the period of the 12th Manu, the Manu is Rudra Savarni, whose sons are headed by Devavan. The demigods are the Haritas and others, Indra is Ritadama, and the seven sages are Tapamurti and others. Sudama, or Svadama, who will be born from the womb of Sunrita, wife of Asatyasaha. 13th, Rasya or Deva Savarni Manu Saptarshi's List, Nirmoha, Tatwaitarsan, Nishprakampa, Narutsuka, Dridamat, Avyaya, and Sutapas. In Deva Savarnia Mandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar will be called Yogeshwara. In the period of the 13th Manu, the Manu is Deva Savarni. Among his sons is Chitrasena, the demigods are the Sukarmas and others, Indra is Devaspati, and Nirmoka is among the sages. Yogeshwara will be born of Devahatra and Brihati. 14th, Indra Savarni Manu Saptarshi's List, Agnibahu, Suchi, Shukra, Magadha, Gridra, Yukta, and Ahita. In Indra Savarni Amandantara, Lord Vishnu's avatar will be called Brihadvanu. In the period of the 14th Manu, the Manu is Indra Savarni. Among his sons are Uru and Gambara, the demigods are the Pavitras and others, Indra is Suki, and among the sages are Agni and Bahu. Brihadvanu will be born of Satrayana from the womb of Atana. Almost all literature refers to the first nine Manus with the same names but there is a lot of disagreement on names after that, although all of them agree with a total of 14. Works ascribed to the Manus The texts ascribed to the Svayambhuva Manu include Maneva Griyasutra, Maneva Sulvasutra and Maneva Dharmashastra Manasmurti or Rules of Manu Jainism Jain mythology mentions the 14th patriarch named Naviraja, mentioning him also as Manu. This, state scholars, links ancient Jain tradition to Hindu mythologies, because the 14 patriarchs in Jain myths are similar to the 14 Manus in Hindu myths. The Manu of Jainism is the father of first Tirthankara Rishabhanatha, Adinatha. This ancient story is significant as it includes one of earliest mentions of IKSHU, sugarcane processing. In modern literature In the Victor Hugo novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Claude Frollo is seen to be studying Manu's works in his study of alchemy. See also Adam Proto-Indo-European religion, section brothers Minos, king of Crete, son of Zeus and Europa. Manus, progenitor of humanity in Germanic mythology according to Tacitus. Mains, king of Lydia Nuu, Hawaiian mythological character who built an ark and escaped a great flood. Nuwa, goddess in Chinese mythology best known for creating mankind. Noah Ziasudra, hero of the Sumerian flood epic Atra Hasis References Sources Shaw, Natubai 2004, first published in 1998, Jainism, The World of Conquerors, I, Mudalal Banarsidas, ISBN 81-208-1938-1. External links 
Manu in Vedic scripture. 